I want to talk to you about zines again today. Many of you have sent me zines and I'm going to show you a few, but also I want to emphasize that sending things in the mail is exciting and it's uh, great to have something that you can hold in your hands that you can send to someone else who holds that in their hands and looks at your work. So um, in, in past videos, I've told you, I'm, you know, you can send me your zines if you want. And since you have, I'm, I'm going to review them here and show you the zines that people have sent me. But I also want to give you an idea for reaching out to other people, galleries, friends, collectors. It's a way of sharing art. It can also be a way of collaborating. And it's a way of getting your art out into the world in a slightly different form, in the form of a zine. So let's look at a few zines. This one was sent to me uh, with, a, with a letter, see a handwritten letter, which is nice, by Mike. And um, he makes these zines. This one he calls Five by Five. And you can see in it, he's telling stories. He, um, he says, Kras Dune is, is, is a project to combine hypothetical with a computer imagery and I worked in, in and I had on in the, what I worked on in the past. My goal is to create one Kras tune a day. This is a selection from December 2015 to 2016. So these are drawings that he did every day, right? And um, and they and they are put together in this in this really nice little little package that then you can send in an envelope like this. Um, so that's one. He did another one that's slightly larger in size. Uh, also, you know, um, drawings that he had done often with, with stories or a kind of poem attached. Um, another way of doing a zine. Here's um, another one. And, and, so, and so that one has, you know, some writing in it. It's, it's somewhat narrative. It's talking about his life. But also these kind of line drawings are, are attractive. They're, some of them are beautiful. They're interesting. They kind of take you through his his sensibility, his his work, his his life, and lets you know who this artist is a little bit. Here's another one. Um, this is from Danny Joe Rose. This one is completely abstract, right? So, and there's a little bit of writing in here uh, from from Danny that just slips in. It's nice to have a little piece of paper in there, so that way it doesn't take away from it. And he says, Morning Dew is a series of collages made, in, made using cutouts from discarded paintings and assembled material. And then, and then so you see, here's, here's some of the collages, right, that, that he's used. Uh, you know, I think, I think, I, I, I love a kind of a zine without words, too. There's something that, um, it's just visually attractive, right? You get, you get interested in it. So, um. So thanks, Danny, and thanks, Chris, for sending those. I like those a lot. Here's another one. Um, this comes from a curator and is collaborative. He calls it Ant, right? So you can see it has a little, you know, logo there that he rubber stamps. And this envelope is clear, right? It's clear. So, you know, it's kind of a nice package. Um, when you take this out, you know, you can see through it. And then in here... He's a he's a writer, so he's not only putting in some some you know this this image you know which is which is interesting. He's sending you an image, um, but he's also writing a little bit about that image. And then here um, in the Ant newsletter, he's also sharing some of his writing. He's um, he's a curator, and he you know wants to wants to share what he's doing with the world. And so what he does is, um, besides working in a commercial gallery, he sends out these letters and he collaborates with other artists to do that. Um, you know, and, 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 and there's kind of funny projects that are in here. I'll show you one other of his without, without going into too much more detail. But here it is, Ant. And you can see he has a, a new logo and a new thing this time because he collaborates with artists on these. And this is something you can do. You can collaborate with an artist on a zine. Um, and then together you end up getting, getting it out there. So this also was in a, a, had, a, had a, a window, right, envelope. Um, the other envelope was completely clear, um, which is also a nice way of doing it. Now you have a lot of, a lot of, uh, a lot of latitude when you're doing this.
He sent another another kind of image that was a project by an artist and um, that has that has a few things going on. And you know, so so essentially he's he's showcasing and curating artists that he likes in this zine. And that's a collaborative process. So what I want to encourage you from all of these is not just to send me zines because I'm I'm happy to see your zine and I think that's really cool and and from time to time I'll review them and show them in the way that I just have here. But what I what I want to say is that zines are a way of of working and getting your your art out into the world. You can just make them on a on a copier, you can print them out of your computer printer, however you want to do it. This 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 last format ant, you know, in a, in an envelope is very simple. There's no binding even. It's just an envelope with four or five sheets of paper in there. You could do two or three sheets, but it's still kind of a zine, a type of newsletter. These others that I showed you are, are are bound somehow. You know, um, this is this is the most common binding for a zine that you're you're basically taking you know a few sheets of paper, right here, and then you're putting staples through the middle. In this case, three. So there's you know three staples there, and then you have this kind of little little booklet format. So again, zines are cool. They're an underground format. It's it's kind of considered um, because it's a way of getting your work out there and bypassing galleries, publications, uh, and other traditional forms. Uh, I, I think all those forms are good, by the way. Uh, I just think that zines are an exciting way to share information. It's an exciting way to get your work out into the world. And, and also, I want to encourage you to collaborate with other artists. I ask a friend who's a writer. Ask a friend who's a poet. Ask a friend who is another artist. Ask a friend who's a scientist. And just together, you know, you're going to make a small zine like this, or it could be something that comes in an envelope, like, like this, right? And together, you, you come up with an idea. Perhaps you do the drawings, or they do the writing, and then you do the drawings, or you, you do whatever you want to do, you know, but you work with someone else, if that makes it easy for you, and then... Um, make your zine together xerox it copy it you know use your or use your computer printer to print out multiple copies zines traditionally were made um you know when you're working for some company working for a corporation doing a job you don't like or have access to a a school copier use their copiers make your zines you know on the on the um you know, on, on your off time or on lunchtime, whatever you can do. You know, you don't have to make a lot, but you could make, uh, if these, if one like this, this is actually, um, you, you know, just four sheets of paper that ends up being, you know, quite a, quite a nice zine and, um, and then folded and, and, and made into more, right? Just four sheets of paper that are then bound and folded. So, you know, if you were making one on a copier, you can take four sheets of paper copy it 50 times and you have a, you know, a zine. Some copiers even collate it for you, so you just take them home, put the staples in and send them out. Again, this is a creative process. I just want to give you a way, an idea to share more work with the world because you never know what, what can happen. Um, you know, there's, there's all kinds of things. In this particular one, you know, there's, there's, you know, the one that's from the curator and sending images that maybe you can, you can see more at a distance, you know, they're kind of curious, but you know, they're, they're exciting because it gets people interested in who you are and your work. It's a gift, right? Who did I get this zine from? Who did I get this gift from? That's why when you guys send me zines and feel free to ask for my address, if you want, want one, um, when you guys send me zines, I feel that they're gift. I'm excited to get one. And I'm not the only one. Other people will feel the same because they haven't gotten one from you in the past, most likely. So again, consider making a zine. Consider sending it to writers who write about art. Consider sending it to curators. Consider sending it to galleries. Consider sending it to museums. You never know what will happen. You're sending out art into the world, a gift out into the world. And it's much warmer and it's much more intimate than a PDF or an email, which I don't discourage mailing. We talk about that a lot too, 
but it's a, it's a lovely kind of gift. It's a lovely tactile object that people will pick up, hold, and, and, and go through and try to figure out, what is this? Who sent me this beautiful thing? And of course, with your name on there, they'll know who you are and may or may not reply, but your work has gotten out into the world. So you can do this once a year, twice a year, every month. You can do what, what Mike was doing, a drawing every day, and then compile them into a zine. You know, the, 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 it's just limitless, the possibilities here. So, um, so again, I want to wish you well in making a zine. I hope you do, because it's just one more way of getting work out into the world.